Okay, um, so last tutorial, learn how to make a pause screen. <clears throat> this whole tutorial, we will be making a um, jumping method. So, um, yeah, we already have an update Y. And let me just show you how to make a jumping method real fast. And it's actually kind of easy. So, um, First off, what you have to do is after the pause menu, you know, if keys equals key event dot vk space and not like outer space. Um, <clears throat> first, we gotta do something real fast. So. We're going to be making a another variable called private static int y displacement, and we could probably put that like that just for good coding practice. And okay, so we got that. We're going to copy this. The y displacement and i um, y displacement equals whatever that is or that okay and also right here we're going to do y displacement plus equals one so how you would make him jump is first off let's see if player dot um Hold on, let me just see. If data.blocks player x, I'm just going to copy this. And if we recall from when we did this, um, if you recall from when we done this the first time, this basically makes sure that the blocks underneath the player aren't, um, you know. Let me just make those um, public for now. Just make sure that the pl um, blocks underneath the player are opaque or real, not. Um, oh, I'm trying. Okay, let me just like get my thoughts straight. Um, let me do this real fast and I'll explain what happens. So what this will do is it'll test if the player is on solid ground, then we will continue. Okay, and if the player is on solid ground and he presses space, then player dot set um, dot set y displacement, and for now we'll set it to ten. And watch what happens when he um so h hmm that's odd. Let me um oh yeah so update y where's that at? And then, um, else, let's do this, y displacement equals zero, and then uh, y plus equals y displacement, there we go. So let's run it now, and if it doesn't work, then I'll give up. Okay, so you can see I don't jump yet. Um... Oh wait, we need to set this to negative 10 because you want to go up. Remember, the top of the screen is negative. Up here is negative, down here is positive for some reason. And you see also that I still don't jump. Hmm, maybe if we set this to a bigger number. So H, hmm, that's kind of odd. Here, let's just, um, if you want, we could get rid of this. Um, I, I don't know. It's, oh, uh, okay, yeah, let's get rid of that for now. H, and you see now it broke. Um, trying to think. Um,. Else, if that let's do 
um, why displacement is not, um, or is greater than 100. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll just try it. Okay, no, wait. Um, let's make that, um, here. We'll, we'll do something like that. H. Hmm. Trying to think what that could be doing. Because I know that when we, um, I know what's happening. We're trying to think how we can get past that. Um, something that we could do is we can also say, um, set y displacement. We could set up a boolean up here, private boolean, um, airborne equals false. So when we're going, or when we're airborne, when we're going up, I'm trying to think, I don't know if that'll work. Um, where is it? Um, is that why it's placement? So, airborne equals true. Okay. Let's change that to static. There we go. So, airborne equals true. Um, else if airborne does not equal true and um, you could say and you're on solid ground then I feel like I'm making it more complicated than it needs to be and I guess I could just look into my code I made earlier but that ruined all the fun why displacement plus equals zero or no, no, not plus, just equals zero. And then something else we can do is if y displacement is greater than zero, or no, um, no, if y displacement is less than zero or equal to, then air born equals false. And do that, do it like that, okay? Let's run it. I kind of have a feeling. Oh, and you get shot into space. Let, let, let's make that to just negative 10. Oh, I don't know how that happened. Negative 10. H. And then you see you jump. Woo, we got it to work. How convenient. Right when I was running out of time. And then you see, if you press P, you stay in the air. Woo! That is, if you've been following the tutorials. If you haven't, I don't know what happens. You might explode. You might jump into space again. And then we can make it seem less jerky by making it 20. H, 20. And of course, it's lagging because I'm recording it. But you can see, it actually, I can't jump in midair. And I don't plan on doing that. I, we could make a double jump if you guys want to. If you guys want to see a double jump feature, comment below and I could do a tutorial on how to make one. And I don't think it'd be that hard. Um, until then, see you later.